own a home or have plans to in the future? Or are you upside down in your mortgage and need help? Tune in right now to the Call Tony Real Estate Radio Show with Tony Patillo and her co-host Carla Dennis. This is where you come to learn about buying real estate. Here's Tony. Hello, Los Angelinos. I'm your host, Tony Patillo, and you're listening to Call Tony Real Estate Radio here on KEIB AM 1150, The Patriot. Tony, what's the word? Every week you do a word, so I am so excited to find out what's the word this week. This week, we're going to talk about trust. The reason why I want to talk about trust is because, first of all, it's a firm belief in the reliability. That's right. right. It's the ability or strength of someone or something. And relationships have to be built on trust. Relationships are built on trust. And if you don't trust the people that you're working with, it's like everything else behind that doesn't work out quite well. Right. Confidence placed in a person by making that person the nominal owner of property to be held or used for the benefit of one more or the other. So while we're having this conversation about trust, there's a whole thing about I trust you. Right. I trust Phil. I trust Jonathan. It's like you have this faith in this person. It's a truth. It's a belief that you feel confident. You feel comfortable, right? Right. That they're going to execute exactly as you agree that they're going to execute on those matters. We in real estate, and you know, as in the tax world, we have clients that actually have a living trust. That's correct. Now, let's describe to the listener what that means. In a living trust, it is a tool and a document that protects, but importantly, it's a document that goes into effect upon their sudden demise. That's right. And that's really important that we understand that because a lot of times people think a trust is an asset protection tool Mm -hmm. that happens during their lifetime, Right. when actually it's a tool that happens after they cross over to wherever it is that they feel they're going. That's right. There is a irrevocable trust, and then there's an irrevocable trust. Now, the revocable trust comes into play while you're living. That's meaning right. That, that you can change the terms of that trust in any which way that you would like while you're still living because anything's subject to change. So you may need to change some terms in your trust. Mm-hmm. But as you said, that doesn't come into effect until you actually make your transition. Right. It's important to review your trust, especially from a tax perspective, inheritance perspective, almost every year. Because you may have created it when your kids were minors. Maybe they're now older. Right. And maybe these are children that didn't do the right thing or maybe they suddenly started doing the right thing. So something to visit on an annual basis. Yeah. It's really important, especially for the baby boomers, that they frequently visit and or do a consultation with someone right because there's nothing worse than not handling your business and you know it's funny because I think about trust and it's like there's two things that roll in my head it's like who do I trust (laughs) right (laughs) who can I trust to advise me right and to give me guidance on what types of things that I need to be thinking about right okay So I've got a tool that I want to share with the listeners, and that tool are 10 things that you should know about living trust. You should go to my website. It's toniesword.com. That's Tony's Word, T-O-N-I-S, Word, W-O-R-D.com to download your free copy. 